Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful render add-on known as the Render Manager tool that you can get right now if you go over to the Blender Market and this is made available by the guys at Polygonic. Right now, if you want to get a tool that would manage all of your renders and you probably don't like rendering one scene, then come back and set your camera to render something else and you know, all of that stuff then this is a must have for you and the beautiful thing again about this is right now they're also having a 33 percent off for the pro and studio version with a coupon code known as render all i'm going to put a link in the description where you can get it and this is valid from now till the 31st of august 2020. so without further ado we're going to dive directly into blender where we're going to take a look at how this thing actually works so with blender open if you've downloaded the add-on you can go over to edit go over to preference and you know you do all of that stuff and for good measures we're going to dive directly to the preference go over to the add-ons just because i want to show you guys some things and i'm going to type the word render so once you have your render set pro right here you would notice that you can store object visibility which is something that is pretty rare for most you know add-ons to do you can also get automatic render layer splitting so in case you want to render various passes you want to render various layers yep you can get that one going at the same time you can choose to play with the naming and also you have a custom folder where you can save things so this is tremendously nice so right here in blender if i go through and create suzanne the monkey and let's type g to push out to this section and let's add something else maybe a simple cone tap g drop that there and then we're going to add one more which is going to be the torus let's also push that over here you would notice that nothing really new happens but if we press n on the keyboard and go over to polygonic you will now see that we have that render set pro tool set here so this is where the add-on leaves. So within this section, it has a couple of things that you can do. You can set various cameras. So depending on the kind of cameras you want, if you want 10, 15, 20, 200 cameras in your scene, yes, you can do that. So let's go ahead and create like four cameras in our scene because we can. And I'm also going to hit control and tap zero on the keyboard, jump over to the view section and lock the camera view, press home on your keyboard just to get a full view and i'm going to move this over to this point so we can also do the same thing for other cameras so for example if you're trying to render things by default you have to render these cameras individually okay but what these guys are giving you is an opportunity for you to set up your cameras set up your lights set up how you want things to be and just simply click on render all or render the current camera so right here i can choose to say i want this to be the default camera go over here and say maybe you want camera one then maybe you want this to be camera two and then you want this to be camera three now by simply doing this you don't need to hit control and zero every single time you select the camera you can just toggle across these cameras here and it's pretty cool something else that is even way cooler than this is you can change the world type that you have so you can have about 2000 3000 worlds and you can just say i would like this world to render when this camera is active and this other world to render when this other camera is active you can also choose to copy your camera settings by clicking right here select the certain things that you want and you can copy from one camera over to the next camera and click on ok if there's a camera you don't want to get rendered you can simply turn that off and that camera will not be rendered and right now you notice it says render all three if you want to render all of them just simply turn that on and it updates it automatically so by simply going all the way down there is certain things which i also like to share with you guys so for your film settings you can set these things for individual cameras independently if you want to also set your rendering you can set this for individual cameras independently for example we can say camera three and also camera one we can set this to cycles so that cycles will be their default rendering engine and if we toggle through this you can also notice that we have that update and we can also go over to camera two and say we would like to get animation specify the resolution that we want specify the time frame that we want and this is just going to be for that particular camera so something else that also makes a lot of sense is if you're trying to render things and you don't want to see the background, you can make them transparent. And then you can also choose to hide and make certain things visible. So for this example, what we're going to do is I would select this object, which, are, which is our default cube, go over to our modify, go down here and add, you know, wireframe. So let's increase the thickness of that wireframe because it's going to be obvious. And then we can just position this camera right here. 
So if I go over here, we have the main camera. Maybe within this particular camera, we don't want to see our default cube that has the wireframe. So what do we do? We select this camera, we go over to the object section, we go over to visibility, and then we can turn this off. And by simply turning that off, every single time this camera renders, we don't see that. We can also say maybe for the animation, we just don't want to see Suzanne. And yes, we can do this. Now, the reason why you get to do things like this is because in most cases, you want to render individual components and then you would like to compose these things later during post-processing. And of course, this makes a lot of sense. So for things like that, this add-on does have you covered. So you have one, two, three, and four, and these are beautiful things that you can do with this. So if you've ever wondered and say, how do I get a tool that will save me all the heartaches of rendering one camera, rendering one asset, doing all of these things over and over in Blender, there you have it. So something else that also makes a lot of sense is you don't just have this tool that you can hit render on and you know, you just go home and sleep. You can also listen to what is happening. So at this point you can say, oh, let's see how much camera one is rendering. And you can take a look at that. You can see what's going on. You can also inspect all of the renderings that is happening right here. So this makes a lot of sense. Actually, let's take a look at one of the sample scenes that also comes with the Render Set Pro. So if I pop up this brand new scene that has been given to us graciously by the guys at Polygonic, if you go through and purchase the Pro version, you would see that it has, you know, basically everything we've been talking about. So we have the first camera, we have the second camera, we have the third and also the fourth. At this point, if you would like to render this by yourself with your vanilla version of Blender, you would render this scene come back and set up this scene and render come back and set up this scene and render come back and set up this scene and render but this opportunity that the guys from polygonic are giving to everyone right now is you don't need to think about all of those hat aches and you know all of those sleepless nights that you have to wait for that render to happen you can just go through select any of these things that you want to render set them up click on render all and something else that you can also do is if you like to get the background to be visible or not visible of course you can turn that on here so right here where we have transparent we can choose to say we don't want this to be transparent and we can have that you know go in there and of course we can turn that back off we can also come over here and say maybe at this point we also don't want this to be transparent or you want it to be transparent depending on what you want to do at the end of the day all of these are here for your useful pleasure so you can choose to work with these and you know get some pretty cool stuff happening another cool thing that you would also find interesting to see is if you are rendering and you want to render various passes or the render set pro would render individual passes for you and plug them into a specific custom folder that you've set so this is something that would definitely ease the time of you thinking about what and what to render, how to go about these things, and just give you some peace of mind while you're working directly in Blender. So if you like to get this tool, it's still available here on the Blender market, and it is being offered for 33% off, and you can choose to get the pro version, you can choose to get the studio version or the personal version, but then the personal version doesn't come with 33% off and you might probably not be able to use the personal version for commercial purposes. And that's about it guys. I did purchase this and you know, felt that it was very, very nice for me to share with you guys. And here you go. And of course, if you like rendering stuff and probably you want to get a render manager that you can rely on directly in Blender, simply go over to the links in the description where you can get this. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace